It's the middle of summer right now and you might be thinking there's not much to plant. But today I have seven seeds in this box that you could plant right now in July for a big fall harvest. The first seed you must start in early July is actually not a seed at all. It's a seed potato. You could get different potato varieties which you could harvest early, a mid-season variety, or a late season variety. Early season potato varieties takes around 60 days to grow and if you live where you have more frost-free days left, you could plant a late season variety which takes around 90 to 120 days to grow. Now before you sow your potatoes, you want to remove all the sprouts leaving only one or two to grow so you get big potatoes. Then you want to plant them at around 8 to 12 inches apart. After you want to water it, I then apply 2 to 3 inches of some straw mulch to keep the soil nice and moist. As the potatoes grow, make sure to water it a lot so you get bigger spuds. The second crop to grow is super sweet and crunchy, and it's carrots. Carrots, from the time you sow to the time you harvest, takes around 60 to 80 days. And the best part is that you don't even need to start it now, you could start it later, close to the end of July, because carrots are very cold hardy. Carrots are a pretty difficult seed to germinate because they're so tiny, and then when you grow it over the top of the soil, the soil have a tendency to dry out and will stop the germination of the carrot seed. But that doesn't mean you don't need to grow carrots. But I'm going to show you how I plant carrots so they germinate every time. Mm -hmm. To plant your carrots, you want to remove any clumps off the soil and then sprinkle the seed on top of it and then give it a good water. And then you want to use a board or some cardboard to cover your seeds until they germinate. Make sure to check every day to see if they germinate and once they do, you can remove the cardboard and expose them to light. Now when your carrots germinate in about a week or two, make sure to thin them out leaving about one to two inch spacing in between each carrot so they have enough room to grow. The third crop that you could still plant in July is lettuce. Lettuce takes around 45 days to grow with the exception of romaine lettuce, 70 days to grow. I like to sow lettuce on a patch of soil just like how I sow carrots. Then within two weeks, I'll have lettuce popping up right in this patch. Then I could take these lettuce and transplant them somewhere else so they could grow to a mature head. If the weather is still hot, you want to use a shade cloth to cover your lettuce so they will continue to grow. The fourth crop to sow are squash and pumpkins. There are two types of squash you could plant. Summer squash, which takes around 60 days to grow. And the most common one is zucchini. And winter squash, which takes around 60 to 110 days to grow. And the most common ones is butternut, acorn, or spaghetti squash. Pumpkin takes around 90 to 120 days to grow. So they're good to plant if you have those amount of frost-free days left. Now when planting, you want to soak your seeds for around 8 hours so they could have better germination. And if you're very careful, you could come and snip the top of the seed so that it would germinate even faster. All gardening fans, Tweaker and I have a special announcement to make. Do you ever had gardening questions that you've been waiting a long time and never been answered? Now we're offering channel memberships where you could have your questions put on high priority, especially when our channel grows where we cannot answer everyone. Okay, I'll let you go, Tweaker. And on top of that, when you join, we'll select one member to shout out in each video we make and you'll get custom emojis which you can use in the comments, like a picture of Tweaker. And you'll also get members only polls where you can help us decide what videos you guys want us to make next. If any of that sounds like great stuff, click join and join the Tweaker Nation for $8.99 a month. The fifth crop to grow are broccoli, cabbage, and cauliflower. All of them are cold hardy, so you could plant them later on in July. But you want to plant it when it's a little warm, so all the leaves will grow fast. Broccoli takes around 60 to 85 days to grow, and cabbage and cauliflower takes around 80 to 120 days to grow. The sixth crop to start in July is green beans. From seed to harvest, green beans take around 50 to 60 days. And you can grow two types of green beans, pole beans or bush beans. Bush beans grow to be about two feet tall and doesn't require any trellis for support. Pole beans will continue growing up to like 15 foot tall 
if your season permits and will require a trellis to help support it. The beans that we have here, we planted it in June and they're already starting to trellis. The ones that we planted in some buckets are already flowering too. You want to show your beans one inch deep and two to three inches apart for bush beans and for pole beans one inch deep and four to six inches apart on a trellis. The seventh crop that you must grow in July are flowers, specifically nasturtiums, chamomile, and marigold. Marigold takes around 60 days to bloom, chamomile takes around 80 days, and nasturtium takes around 50 days to bloom. You can also grow some sunflower seeds. If you still have a lot of frost-free days left, you can get varieties which take around 55 to 60 days, or get some that takes around 100 days to grow. So those are the seven crops that you could sow in July. Bye!